going on here today. How's it going, Doc? All right, excellent. This FXR is looking good, man. Okay. Dig these. This is the FXRS long travel suspension, triple disc brakes, enclosed chain. First year of the Evo. Very cool bike. 100% bone stock except for the paint job and the mufflers. Kind of a cool piece. Here's a 354 that uh, needs a rest, full restoration. Just doing an eval on it. Another 354 the guys are working on. KZ 550. And this beauty, Yamaha MX or DT 250 set up for off road. I think this one's a 72. This one has had a frame off also. Um, 1972. What a beauty. Almost completed. And we got a uh, Kawasaki Triple S250. That's been um, undergoing a restoration. A nice 1965 Honda. And a TS400. Kawasaki just had a full carb restoration, carb clean and rebuild. Beautiful bike. Another day getting it done. Springfield Motorcycle Show this weekend. Love the sound of the old two strokes. Getting ready for snow up here in Connecticut. Nice looking bike. That one's got a brand new motor in it. Full Yamaha, a factory OEM NOS cases replacement on that one. So that's a rare piece. We just got the uh, Rhino set up for snow. Put a worn plow on it. And uh, Swisher, a sand thing. Dave, I just tried calling you. Did you hear about the sand problem? Did you hear about the sand problem? No, what's sand? The sand, uh, it clumped up. The they tried using the, the sander. Did you get two types of sand or no? Yeah, it doesn't work. Shit. We should have we got some sand, too. Um, didn't they have two types? There was sand and salt? And you just got straight salt? We can't use that on the concrete driveway. I thought I told you that down here it'll eat it it'll eat it up big time you can, you can use it on tar but not not on not on can't use it on, on concrete Mike says he uses it on the concrete and it's just about concrete down there is because of your slurry because of what the slurry coat that's on the top yeah I don't know why why the salt didn't work and I think it was too wet that's what he said anyways so um, I don't know. Well, is there... me, what do you think sand's going to be? Sand's not going to be dry. Well, we need, we need something, something dry. Well, there's sand right there. Try it. <coughs> is that the stuff you got? No. No? I got salt. Where, are, these made, where, are these made for sand and salt? Where or is it? Or are they just made for the calcium chloride? Where is it? Is it in the... Uh, it's in the shed. It's in the shed? It's quite the unit, though. Is good. Testing the outside the cylinder is good. Right on the fuel leak issue right now. So this one had a hole in the float, causing the engine to flood, and, and it was running inter intermittently on one cylinder. So we're hoping to resurrect this pretty this one here. It's a pretty old bike. 
New tires on it too, it looks like, huh? The rear's a new one. This one is done. Can't wait to ride this later. You just need to put a headlight in it. That's it. We're good. So we're gonna do a compression test on this and see if uh, the engine's still good. Did you use on the carb? Do something better? No, but they're TK carbs. They're not the Kuni, they're not the Keen, they're extremely unique. Got all new gaskets and O rings. I cleaned the pilots. It's common that the pilot jet the kit will say 32 on it. That would correspond to the, the 32 that was in it. So the carbs are perfect, but the igniter is bad. It's always something. I got an example, the air screws, the standard settings, the turn and the eight open. It only like to be one open. What do you say? I got my water. Okay? Yeah. Still on the phone waiting. He's excited. We're gonna do a compression test on this 350. Apparently we're not gonna restore it. Let's sell it as is, let somebody else do it. Just wanna check the engine compression. The hot water power. Hooked to a 60 gallon hot water tank. Cost a few bucks, but it's worth his weight in gold. You guys know I'm an FXR guy, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Can't wait to we can't wait to run this thing. Look at that motor. What a beauty. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Doc? I love it, man. I love it. I can't wait to ride it. <laughs> I got the uh, picture of you riding that other FXR. I texted it to you yeah, the other day. I guarantee that's still fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. That one's motor's built on it. That one's got a balanced crank and everything. This one's going to sound awesome with the, with the uh, straight pipes on it, though. Got a couple bikes out here we're not going to restore we're just selling them as is this one right here we don't have the time to do it but someone will want to give that one some love then we got a roller tt 500 someone's got an sr 500 or tt motor pop it in there you're good and then i've got a honda rebel 450 very rare piece only made these a few years um most of them are 250s but but it's like a rebel 250 on steroids so that one's coming up for sale as is and this one, I can't wait to get this one done, man. The Royal Enfield. This is a really cool piece. This one's under construction still. Low mile, but it's been sitting for a while. And then I got my Gold Wing trike. That, uh, I want to set that up with a trailer hitch. And drive it around and buy motorcycles in the summer on a three-rail trailer. That'll be fun. I got an MX360 Yamaha we're restoring. And a Honda 1, I think it's a 180. Then a Honda 200 Twin Star, another MX250, my Powerall motored Honda 450 with a 500 big board kit, the MT125 we're restoring, the 250, I got the sick Honda 480 that we're almost done with, can't wait to do that video, and then a 360 74 that we're getting the tank redone on, so got some really cool stuff coming out here in the near future, you gotta stay tuned for Here, Dave ripping on the 7.3. There he comes. This is Z Z1900. We're restoring 75, and uh, some Moto Marini. We're doing 350. Just got the tins back. 
We're gonna try to salvage these bars right here, bend these back. They're kind of a little bit tweaked. We're gonna straighten these vintage handle bars out here with the uh, pipe method. Yeah. Got it. Looks good. A little bit. Still needs to go down. down. Yeah. So go, go down that way. save it but I think it's gonna need a new set of handlebars but at least it'll look halfway decent before we do that nothing worse than a tweaked up set of bars this thing needs a full restoration but uh, we're just cleaning it up and do a compression test tweaked it a couple more times it's fairly straight so we're gonna take a trip down to the detail shop in the uh, Rhino and uh, Kaplan America Get the plow truck ready. We got snow coming, and we got to get all the bikes loaded up for the show at the uh, Springfield Big E. We'll go around the back way, apparently. See you at the show tomorrow.